Alright, hey you guys, I'm back to do a quick mermaid hair tutorial for you guys. Yeah, super excited. So I have been loving Hunty. Can I just, mm, loving, loving my mermaid hair, okay? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get some mermaid waves. Now all you're going to need is a brush, some argan oil, some clips, and I don't know, this is not a one inch, I want to say one fourth inch. I don't know nothing about measuring y'all or sizes, but this is a thick curling wand. Um, it doesn't taper. It stays the same length throughout the whole way through. So basically what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of argan oil by applying some argan oil to my hands and distribute it through my hair. Now it is going to help with the frizziness that I'm going to you know, my experience throughout the whole thing. I really up I really like and enjoy applying some argan oil to my hair and the argan oil that I'm actually using is the one and only Moroccan argan oil. I actually got this at Sally's. I really like applying this to my hair because as you guys know, this is some extreme color treated hair. So I want to make sure that my ends aren't dry or brittle. And as you guys can see, my hair isn't dry at all. It has a nice luster, a nice shine to it. So basically what I'm just going to do is just take my Detman brush and I'm just going to comb through the hair to detangle any hair that might be or might need some detangling. Real quick, real quick. And as you guys know, I have three bundles in plus a closure. So what I'm just going to actually start doing, I might just start up here. And this is going to be really quick. I'm just going to take some medium sizes. Well, actually, I'm going to take some smaller sizes in the front. And I'm just going to wrap this around away from my face. And I'm just going to wrap this around a barrel. I'm going to hold it for about 5 to 10 seconds. And then I'm just going to let it go. Then I'm just going to take the hair and put my thumb through it. I'm going to take a duck clip or a little hair clip like this. And I'm actually going to pin it down. Now, by a pinning it down and allowing the curl to actually set, I'm going to get a more bouncier curl pattern than I would if I just regularly just leave it um, down, like leave it without holding, letting the curl set. So once again, wrapping it away from my face, I'm going to hold it for 5 to 10 seconds. I'm going to let it go. Put my thumb through the center of the curl. Take a clip and I'm just going to pin it up. And I'm just going to repeat this step throughout the whole entire hair. But as you guys can see, I started off with like medium to smaller pieces in the front. And then as I go through, I'm just going to grab larger and larger sections. If you wanted a really extreme, extreme tight hole, you would just take smaller sections throughout the whole hair and hold it for like 10 to 15 seconds so the hair has a lot of time to actually you know curl and then you would actually pin it up and that little piece you see in the corner is the actual cap that is the ear tabs I actually bought my cap normally I get my cap at do I get it at the beauty supply I normally get my sewing caps that I sew my wigs on at the beauty supply. But this time I actually found a store on AliExpress that actually has glueless and full lace um, wig caps so that you can sew your units. And I wanted to try one of those caps just because a lot of the times the cap that I get from the beauty, the actual beauty supply store is too small for my head. So I wanted to actually, and I was seeing all these Instagram people who make wigs and I was wondering, I'm like, well, what caps do y'all be using? So this one, in fact, is a little bit small. It fits better than most of the caps, but I actually got a medium. So if you find a store on AliExpress that sells these wig caps, go with the large because the medium is quite snug and my hair 
is braided pretty tight underneath it so so next time I will continue I will continue to purchase my wig caps from there um, I would just have to buy a large I believe they have all the way up to an extra large um, so yeah piece of hair so I'm gonna let these set for about five ten minutes um, and then I'm gonna take them down um, you can actually take this time to actually take a little bit of flexi holding hairspray and actually spray them while they're sitting up um, I don't feel the need to do that um, because I I do not sleep with my um, units on I take them off at night so the curls are gonna last pretty long for me um, I can get a good week hold with the curls um, and as the days goes on the, the the curls get looser and looser and looser so like I said I'm gonna take five minutes and let these set and then I'll come back take the pins out and style it for you guys all right you guys I'm back so I'm just going to start taking out the clips and the good thing about applying the argan oil beforehand is that you wouldn't you won't have to reapply any oil and also when you're taking out and your finger combing the curls to style it you won't get any frizziness so I'm just taking them out all right you guys so all of the clips are out so I'm just gonna take my magic fingers and Oops, I lied. I lied. I lied. Wait a minute. Let me just double check. Wait a minute. Yep, I lied. All right, so now I'm going to take my magic fingers and just start finger combing it. And you'll start to see the, the 
the body in the volume you see how this hair just acts like it's just like freaking butter absolutely love it loving 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 yes hunty yes yes loving like so and so what I ended up actually doing also is normally I like to set my lace front units directly on my hairline but I started noticing that by just pushing it back just a little bit and showing a little bit of my natural hairline makes the unit even more believable and makes the unit look a little bit more like mine. What I can say that I don't like and that's just me being not lazy I can't find my scissors at the moment I just need to cut back a little bit of the lace because a little bit of the lace is still showing right here so by cutting that off I won't have that like that little light line right there but yes hunty yes yes hunty yes 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 so loving the body the volume and as the week goes on if you are another girl like myself that does not sleep with your units on these curls will get looser they will get looser but still pretty still have that bounce and that shine and you won't have to keep reapplying heat and recurling your hair every day all you have to do is just put this bad boy on put a little bit of argan oil on and finger detangle as usual and you are good to go so i hope you guys like this easy and fun hair tutorial for you guys if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments section below but as always you guys remember to always rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter twitter.com backslash missile so fabulous tv facebook facebook.com backslash missile so fabulous and remember you guys have a nice and wonderful day bye